Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office. This is evening prayer for Holy Saturday, March the 30th. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 27, Romans chapter 8, verse 1 to 11. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. You are my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Psalm 27. You are my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? You are the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. And though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing I have desired of you that I seek, that I may dwell in your house all the days of my life, to behold your beauty and to inquire in your temple. For in the time of trouble, you shall hide me in your pavilion. In the secret of your tabernacle shall you hide me, and you shall set me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted above my enemies all around me, Therefore, I offer in your tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I sing, yes, I sing praises unto you. Hear me when I cry with my voice to you. Have mercy upon me and answer me. When you said, seek my face, my, so my heart said to you, your face I will seek. Hide not your face from me. Put not your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me and neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my mother and my father forsake me, then you will take me up. Teach me your way, my beloved, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me into the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen against me. They breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed I would see your goodness in the land of the living. I wait on you. If I am courageous, you shall strengthen my heart. I say, I wait on you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. You are my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The lesson is from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 8, beginning at verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of the life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. <clears throat> for God has done what the law, weakened by the flesh, could not do, by sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and to deal with sin. He condemned sin in the flesh, so that the just requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. To set the mind on the flesh is death, 
but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. For this reason, the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. And those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh, you are in the spirit, since the spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to Christ. But if Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, the spirit is life because of righteousness. If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your immortal bodies, to your mortal bodies also through his spirit that dwells in you. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation under your care. Guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us by your Holy Spirit. And for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O God, our light and our salvation, grant us the patience and the courage to wait upon you, and forsake us not, that our faith may be increased and our hearts strengthened, and that we may dwell in your house all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.